So now, Cinco de Mayo. What, what do you know about Cinco de Mayo? That's what is it known as? Uh, uh, like a Fourth of July Independence Day, right? So another word for Independence Day is being free. Are the Hispanics free right now? Exactly, we not. So Cinco de Mayo, what 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 is that? What is that really about? Okay, so do you know that's a lie? And what the white man does, which is called Esau in the Bible, he lies. That's how he gets us. He want to keep us in sin. So, do you know uh, America is the only one? Is is majority celebrate that high, that that holiday? And Mexico don't even cel really celebrate that. Mm -hmm. That was in 1865 when the uh, Mexicans they defeated the uh, the French, right? But guess what? They didn't win the fight because the Mexicans, the Hispanics, still got the conquistadors' last name. So how are they free? So I'm gonna show you in the Bible that what God says about Cinco de Mayo, Mother's Day. Read. This is a book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 9. But in vain they do worship me. Stop. So it says, in vain they do worship me. So why is God calling the other high holy days vain? Because we not obeying the laws of God. The high holy days, which is Leviticus chapter 23. Read on. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of man. See that teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. So what is that man going into? The white man. Because guess what? That's not the commandments of the Bible, the high, which is the most high God. That's what that's going into. Read it again. Right but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Teaching the doctrines the commandments of men. So that's what we need to do. We got to come back to the high holy days. The, 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 high, the commandments of God, which is the Holy Bible. That's what we read it. Because remember, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, we the Israelites according to the Bible. So, do you got any questions so far? So, you, we, gonna, we show you the Bible that Mother's Day and Cinco de Mayo is not of God. You know, we got our own high holy days to keep. So, now that you, Israel, you're an Israelite from a tribe of Issachar. So, God requires of you a job. We all have jobs to do. So, let's see what that is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So that's what we are required to do. We are required to serve God by keeping his commandments. So Cinco de Mayo is not serving God. Why? Because it's not in the Bible. Mother's Day is not serving God. Why? Because it's not in the Bible. Now go to Titus uh, 1 and 14. Now what are we reading? The Holy Bible. And what are we teaching? Nationality, commandments, and repentance. To who? To the children of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Yes, Read. Titus chapter 1 verse 14. Uh -huh. Not giving heed to Jewish fables. Stop. So it says not giving heed to Jewish fables. So who is the real Jew? The word Jewish means something like a Jew. So who are the real Jews? We are. The blacks and Spanish have been and we are real Jews. We are the Israelites. The Jews are Israelites. Christ is a Jew. Read. Not giving heed to Jewish fables uh -huh. and commandments of men that turn from the truth. You see that? That's all that word commandment of man again. What man is that? Not the man, not the God of this Bible. That's going into the white man. That turns you from the truth. What is the truth? The commandments of God. That we are God's chosen people. We're supposed to be living holy. Now, we're going to deal with Mother's Day real quick. You got one day out the year where your mother's supposed to be special to you. But all the other days out the year, she's just a regular woman. You call up, you say, oh, mama, I love you. But on Mother's Day, it's like, no, I got to give you flowers. I got to do this for you. That's a, that's a lie, bro. You're supposed to love your mother. The scriptures say, honor thy mother and thy father. So... What, what really, the, what the Bible is telling you that Mother Day is really like, it's worshiping of the women. You know, as the prophets brought out earlier, it's, it's, it's worshiping of the women, you know what I'm saying, putting a woman in, in leading at everything. And that's not the order that God ordains to be. So let me show you a, a scripture in the Bible that says about the order, the, the, who's supposed to be the head. Read. Revelation chapter 2 verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, 
Okay, so God says, notwithstanding, he got a few things against thee. He's talking about thy tear, the daughter. The, the, remember, this is going into the woman leading. This is going into Mother's Day. Read. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which called herself a prophet, a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Okay, so now this woman, what she was doing is she was teaching them to, to commit adultery, you know, do sacrifices unto idols. You know, this is going into worshiping the woman, which is not of God. So give me up 1 Corinthians 11. Because real quick, what is the order of the household? What is the order supposed to be on earth? Do you know? We're going to see according to the Bible. Hey, let me ask you a question. Out of respect for the Bible, are you willing to take your hat off? All praises, man. That's what a repentance is. We're going to get that in the scriptures too to show you that that's biblical. So right now we're dealing with the order because we want to break down this, this uh, doctrine about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is not really what the Bible says it is. The Blacks, Hispanics, Day of Indians, you was giving your own high holy days to keep. Mother's Day is not in the Bible. You got one day out the year you say you love your mama. You really love her. But the other days out the year, it's well, you, I love you, but not as much as on Mother's Day. That don't even make sense. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every man is Christ. That's us. The Israelite man. The black, Hispanic, and native Indian man. Read. And the head of... The head of every man is Christ. And the head of every... And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is the man. So that 50-50 that they pushing... In a marriage, that's not true. God says it's Christ, then it's the man, then it's read. And the head of Christ is God. Okay, so the head of Christ is God. So we got God, Christ, we got man, and we got the woman. That's the correct order it's supposed to be. Read on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So that's what we just that's what you just did. You take that's respect that you have for Christ, and that's part of repentance. You didn't even know that. Bring it out. When we bring the scriptures out, you miss the uh, proper sign. That's what you're supposed to do. Just uncover your head. But all praises you did that. That show. That show something in your spirit. We can work with you. Now, uh, give me Deuteronomy 28. So this right here, Deuteronomy 28, is the foundation of our DNA. This is how we can really tell we are the children of Israel. So you say you you from the tribe of Issachar, right? Have you ever heard of that name? That's one of the sons of Jacob. And you can read that in Genesis 49. So, Aztec, the Mexican Aztec, you heard of that? Okay, all praises. Now give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so remember in... Deuteronomy 1 and 1, these be the words that Moses spake to only Israel. So God is telling Moses that if we don't keep his commandments, curses are going to happen to it. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Even when your children say curse words, you say what? They're bad words. So curse is a bad thing. So that's what God is saying when we don't apply his commandments. Bad things will happen to us. So what did you learn today so far? The blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians, we the Israelites. The His Hispanics, we all one nation of people, and that's been pushed forth through Chicago that we not one one family, and we really are. That's what's going to help us stop this black on black crime, Hispanic on Hispanic crime, black against Hispanic. And uh, what else have we learned today? That the doctrines that was taught, uh, Mother's Day, Cinco de Mayo, as well as Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of that, that's of the devil. It's not of the Bible. We've given our own high holy days in the book of Leviticus. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, 
Europe, I'm Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.